Hey family, it's Tosh Mar Bear Prepping. So today I'm about to bring you a doozy. We're about to talk about it. Pull up, get your drink, and let's talk about what has been the rumblings surrounding, you know, this new simulation exercise that has been happening. So a few weeks ago, the internet exploded with um, basically the publication that uh, a few entities, which I'm going to say here in a minute, had gone together and done a, a simulation, which we're very versed in right on this channel. We've talked about this before, um, versed in um, a uh, an event, right, that they, that they, they held that um, basically was an exercise, was training, was meant to um, depict a virus, a virus. A, a, pathogen right a a pandemic and what they would do lessons learned from that and the crazy thing about this is we already know that these people and when i say these people i'm talking about the world health organization i'm talking about john hopkins university i'm talking about um the center for health uh security dot org those folks i'm talking about the the gates foundation um the Gates Foundation is always surrounding with these simulations when they do them. And we've never talked about this on my channel because obviously there's things people don't want to talk about. We're just going to move forward and talk about this today. Um, but if you weren't aware, it's very, very difficult to find actual videos on the internet now. There are several YouTube channels and other folks on Rumble and other platforms that have posted clips of these videos um the most recent one i saw was redacted dived into this and it's basically a video you know depicting what this um training this exercise the simulation if you will was about and what they learned what would happen all of that crazy stuff now right before covid happened um we we there was a simulation that was ran in october and it simulated an in cove type disease virus that would come that millions would die like 65 million people would die of course we don't have that million that many that have died from this um but it was a simulation of of that happening if you've followed my channel or even a ton of other channels that really really dive deep into this you know that there was a simulation called dark winter that we all know about that was a simulation of a pox virus outbreak right and so it's a running theme that these folks like to for whatever reason because my opinion the reason why i'm even doing this video is because the subscriber asked me hey give your opinion my opinion is that part of me is like why would you ever tell us right why would you in our faces tell us something is going to happen it's a simulation for if it happens but then it turns around and happens that tells me that we know enough right as a country as a people these people um, are privy and know enough to know that these things could happen and more importantly will happen because they have happened right um and then you're like okay well what do i take from this i mean the the you can right now google let me see center for health security.org they have a snippet that you can pull up right now just put in um catastrophic contagion um and then just say health security their article will pop up and it gives you a snippet of this of this um the video is not there that everybody is circulating but there's a snippet there that basically says that they did this tabletop why they did it the players involved in the tabletop and the lessons learned the lessons learned is the most important part that i guess has the most information for folks like you and me to to pull out of what it is that they you know found you know the outcome of the simulation and, and and their plans because you can kind of see what the plan is right i think it's important to pay attention to dates do i think that they are doing this in hopes of actually letting the public know and letting the public plan for this and and um truly getting us as a people wrapped around pandemics and how to prepare for that and how to get families ready for this and no because at the end of the day they're going to fall back on well it's not real this is a fictional simulation this isn't real it's not a real virus it's not a real thing you know the the dates and everything are just a simulation it's just it's just what we 
kind of tabletop, you know, the outline of our tabletop. Well, some of those outlines were this, that um, we would be hit with a pandemic. It will happen between 2025 and 2028. So it will last several years. It will be an outbreak of Sears, uh, S-E-E-R-S, -E which stands for Severe Epidemic Introversus Virus Intervirus, Enterovirus Respiratory Syndrome. Sorry about that, mouthful. Um, supposedly, the lessons learned would be that they would have to um, censorship us much more. So there will be heavy, heavy censorship because what they learned, and of course they're doing a tabletop with stuff that has really happened, like COVID, and then the simulation stuff. And they they say in the they say that you know their lessons learned was that. Um, not you know not many children died remember at the beginning they were talking about children 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 um our children our children and then our children weren't getting sick from COVID. and so in this one they predicted uh if you will that you know 20 20 million people would perish right because it has a higher fatality rate however 15 million of those would be young adults and children now that right there is a fear of any parent, any mother, father. You know, you're not gonna touch my child. Your, your job is to protect your child, right? To keep them close, to make sure that you protect them. And so of course, if you have a virus, you have a disease, you have something that is going around that's catastrophic and catastrophic against our children, of course, that's how you get adults in line. I'm just keeping it real. When things happen to children, that's how you get, um, adults in line because now it's not about all oh, their selfish thoughts about not trusting the government or their selfish thoughts about I don't trust this vaccine or I don't trust this that's being said right misinformation they don't they fall in line with not um believing the hype believing what people are might maybe saying about either medicine or what people are saying is happening or whatever right they, they're going to fall in line because ch the children are the ones that are suffering and dying right and that's how you get get us in line and so there's a big discussion about it's going to hit children it's going to be children children and that's a mind f if you will that's a already conditioning us to if this happens which it is going to happen a pandemic is going to happen i believe now that this is going to happen i still believe from dark winter that the pox is going to come i do believe that the pox is going to be used in some sort of um, bio weaponry or if that's how it's going to be sold to us is that it was a bioterrorism event right that's how pox is going to be sold to us this is going to be sold and is wrapping us up for children okay higher censorship they already saw how we reacted to this last pandemic first of all reactive everybody okay that's one thing they learned too is they need a team they we weren't ready like at all in a real way of attacking a pandemic attacking a virus that's coming after us how do you win that war like for real for real right not all this propaganda and all this and trying to sell meds and sell all this stuff not that just for real how do we um be ready right and we absolutely were not and i would venture that we're still not you know do i think hospitals and some entities probably up their game as far as their stockpiles and being ready and all this stuff of course but they're not ready okay and so that misinformation piece that people not listening the children piece is to get people in line and then the whole piece that um the social network the social media the social dynamic of people being able to readily discuss stuff readily express our um uh our um opinions of what's going on alternate ways of healing right alternate ways of treating the symptoms symptoms different medicines that maybe people did not think about all of that starts you know brewing and people start sharing that information just like it happened last time right and i tell you the same thing will happen but there will be a heavy heavy lockdown their actual wording when it came to censorship and social um you know um getting the social network in line was having to use heavier weaponry right so i would um i would absolutely expect um not just heavy censorship on people like you and me and YouTube videos and at our low level. I'm talking about censorship on a very high level, right? Stuff being turned completely off, put in the dark, put in the corner, um, 
no way to find stuff total scraping of internet and, and, and information, right? And would be doing it under the clause of like policies and pandemic, um, and epidemic and pandemic type clause policies where we're just gonna wipe the internet of information. We're just gonna wipe all these people away. It's not gonna be, oh, we took your video down. It's gonna be, we're just gonna wipe this all away and you're not gonna be able to see this information, right? You're gonna see places and platforms get wiped off the map when it comes to, oh, you're able to talk about stuff on these other platforms. Well, those platforms are gonna be um, completely taken down, okay? Um, higher fatality, uh, you know, it's crazy too because COVID hit and we had that movie Songbird and it was about COVID 2023 and you're like, what? And now COVID's making a comeback. There's all this uproar with China and they locked down. Now they're open. Now we're doing some restrictions. Now they're upset about it. And, um, you know, and come to find out there's several new strands. There's, there's all this new stuff, right? New variants coming out. And it's crazy because we have this triple pandemic that they're talking about, right? This triple demic, right? With the flu, with the RSV, with COVID, because COVID kind of died down. So we have to keep the hype because baby, I think 2023 is about to be a COVID comeback. Just my opinion, but I think 2023 is going to be a COVID. We're going to go through a, a situation one more time with COVID-23 um, or COVID in the year 2023. And that's going to be a thing. And I think moving into um, the next years and whether or not, you know, these dates are accurate. I think somebody and I, I, I saw the video, but I can't find the full video where they talk about it starting in like Brazil or somewhere. Um, I, all I take from this as somebody who prepares and to not panic and to not cause panic is baby, we as a rational person, you know that pandemics are going to happen and they're going to continue to happen, period, okay? Period. That's coming. That's facts, okay? Whether these fools want to continue to give us these, these highlights of what they're supposedly doing to be proactive and not reactive to the whole idea of pandemics. Another thing too is, Mr. Gates, um, be careful because later on you know he doesn't have a very good reputation right now right of trust trust of the people trust of anything right and his hands are dirty his hands are always in this whole um pandemic virus disease right because there's money to be made this man has tons of money has bought up tons of land he clearly understands that stuff is going to happen whether they start it or not wherever it originates from and he knows that he's going to have to have a refuge, a place to go. And so he's bought land upon land upon land, okay, in certain states. And his goal, I think, is to survive, you know, and to make it and know that these things are going to happen and be able to be somewhere where he can survive, he can grow food, he can be prosperous. And we have to be careful because if the rest of the world is hurting, people start to look at a person like that. OK, they look they start to look at them as somebody as like a savior, somebody that can help them, somebody that has money and has been talking about this stuff for years and years. He knew about this. He tried to warn us, see how that story can get spun around. And now you have people looking at him like he's the next best thing. And this is going into a year of trying to find a new president in 2024, right? And what those two or four years, eight years, what that time frame looks like with that person it's just a lot, okay? And so for somebody like you and me, you just chill out. You you understand that pandemics are gonna happen. You understand that as a person that, you know, majority of us are not doctors, are not nurses, are not PAs, are not any of that stuff. For those of you that are, that's a great skill. I mean, amazing. And if you've quit the game, make sure you're staying up on your skills, baby, because you will be needed, right? Um, but you you think about the symptoms, you do your research on symptoms, right? And then you are ready, you stockpile the stuff, you stockpile the meds, you stockpile um, different holistic stuff and know that stuff. What can you grow? What can you put together that's holistic? What are the vitamin supplements that you need? How do you boost immune systems? All of these things, how do you treat actual symptoms? Coughing, 
bleeding, this, that. How do you, sometimes for some of this stuff, how do you merely just keep somebody comfortable as possible? And it's not that there's anything you can really do, right? Pox, when we talked about pox, we dove deep in this channel into pox and why I believe that it's going to happen. I did a whole time frame. I'll try to find the videos and see if I can post them down below so that you can see what I did. But I basically broke down the whole timeline of them, the years, over years and years, decades that they've been talking about pox and the, how it's going to hit us and all this stuff. And then I'll try to find the other video where I talk about um, holistic stuff that you can get, treating the symptoms. You, you research the symptoms of a virus, if it's a real virus, you, you can research the symptoms, things that happen to people during these things, and then you prepare for those things, right? Um, Sears, S-E-E-R-S, -E -E I don't even know if that's a real thing, um, but they're saying this is a, and what's crazy is that it's a respiratory syndrome. And right now we are dealing with this whole upheaval of respiratory things. What's crazy is, you know, my opinion is that these things are happening now because people's bodies are reacting to stuff that they put in their bodies to then fight this other thing. And now we're all of a sudden having an increase in all this respiratory stuff. And we already knew respiratory stuff was an issue. People's lungs, stuff being tore up just from going through having said last pandemic stuff, having COVID. And now we're fighting this, you know, battle or respiratory stuff, whether whether that's from people that took the, the medicine or people that did not take the medicine, we're having to deal with this. And now they're predicting just a couple years from now, we're going to have a respiratory syndrome type disease and that it is going to be coming for our children. OK, and so that is a mind F to get you conditioned already to be thinking, OK, this is going to be bad because they, they tried that narrative with this last one, the children, the children. But then it didn't really hit the children that bad at all. Right. Um, and then now we have RSV, which is hits everybody. It's not just children. It's adults and, um, you know, compromised folks, it, all of that. Right. Um, but they're already saying that they did this tabletop. Something big is coming in 2025. It's going to be a respiratory syndrome type disease virus. It's going to have a higher fatality um, and come to find out that if you get it, so 20 million people die fatality, but 15 million are kids and anybody else that gets it, that's left, that makes it, that lives, is going to have brain damage or paralysis. That's how you get the rest of the people in line. Okay. One, it goes after the children. And if that doesn't get people, hello, you're going to have brain damage or paralysis. You're going to have people lining up for medicine lining up ready to go right and that's the problem is you have to you have to drive that narrative now and you have to start conditioning people now because you have such a huge part of the population that still doesn't believe will never believed it in this the, the covid medicine right and then you have a, a large group of the population that is now realizing and waking up that did take it that are realizing wow what just happened look at these side effects look at these things that are happening look at these cancers blood clots side effects people dying look at this stuff that's happening right so was it good or was it bad right um and you have that part of the population that is now questioning and so when the next thing happens they're going to question they're not going to just easily fall in line and so now that group of not falling in line is much bigger and that's just the outcome of this game of them of this dirty stuff that they that they're doing right um it's just a dirty dirty cycle dirty dirty cycle and i don't want any part of it what i will do is continue to get my pandemic preps i will continue to have my cleaning stuff prepped i will continue to have the stuff to make my family comfortable to treat symptoms to keep their um you know their immune systems as strong as possible from jump right um and being smart about things and not falling into misinformation from either side right from from anybody i i don't think it's smart to go full-blown on either side 
at all. I think that it's it's um, there's a place to navigate in the middle somewhere and to hover and to kind of understand that both sides. There's some some like masks. You know when I mention masks, I'm like somebody's like you said masks. That I'm I'm done with your channel. One time I did a video and I mentioned masks. And the thing is, is if you watch me for a while, um, I don't necessarily believe in the whole mask mandate and all the stuff going on. I don't wear masks when I go out. All this stuff, right? However, comma I absolutely prep masks. And people are like, I can't believe you said masks hello you need masks in your preps for medical if you have somebody sick in your family that you are taking care of you need to not get sick and you need to protect yourself with ppe for as much as much as you can and one of those pieces of ppe is masks doctors nurses all over the world use this stuff on a daily basis you know we're not talking about wear that mask and wear it to the end of time and you're holding in all that nasty stuff into your i understand the science okay but th that's a valid piece of ppe so again see you can take something all the way to the other side and which doesn't make sense and will hurt people so you need this stuff you need ppe um and then you need to know what it is actually used for and why you need it and get those things and stockpile those things. Especially now, we talked about regulations of, of medicine. You know, imagine a lesson learned, if you will, is that the people that did not want to comply started researching themselves, started diving deep into medicine and un trying to understand what were things that they could get their hands on that would then heal them, help them, help those symptoms, all this stuff. And they started, and so, it was unconventional, some of this stuff. And people started sharing that and it was working. And, and again, it was stuff that was unconventional, right? People were not trying to, you know, what, take what, this, this paste that's for horses, it's not for us, right? unconventional but that's what happens people start to dig deep okay and the same thing is going to happen people are going to start to dig deep and people were like hey take this vitamin vitamins abc it was like 10 vitamins and take this paste and do this and take make this tea and make your fire cider and da 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 right all this holistic stuff and vitamins but when you talk about regulations and they talk about trying to keep the people in line this time and misinformation like that right try to get everybody for medical misinformation how do you shut that down? Hmm. If you regulate the medicine and therefore they can't just go and get whatever said vitamins, they can't just go and get over the counter, whatever it is, and make these concoctions and do this holistic healing. If you take that away and it's now regulated, then these people, these people can't do that again this time, right? Um, because that was a huge piece of this, that misinformation. And remember, they said they're going to use a heavier weaponry against us. And that will be, they will shut that down. You're not going to be able to see us freely sharing recipes and sharing things. Every video that I've ever talked about any kind of virus, I fully expect one day to be completely taken down. And I've done it so much that I 100% will not be shocked one day if my video, my, my channel is just taken down right? 100% expect it because I've talked about this stuff. I'm super passionate in certain things. Security fortification is one of them. Another huge piece is water food meds, 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 right? Um, I'm, I fully believe in medical preparedness, right? Holistic meds, vitamins, all of that stuff is an absolute, you have to have this stuff, okay? So, and I, I absolutely believe that these viruses are going to come. Event 201 was the event right before COVID where they talked about NCOV hitting. And literally the next month it hit. Okay. Um, now they're talking about catastrophic contagion 2025. We're going into 2023. That's a little bit early. Um, I fully expect it to come. And maybe it won't come 2025. There's actually a movie. I have not watched it circulating as you do your research and you try to dive deep called Lockdown 2025. Um, I haven't watched it, but I think that it's interesting on the time frame and the name. I, you know, part of me with the movies, you have to be careful because um, America as a people were obsessed with the end days, end times, apocalyptic, dystopian, like we're obsessed with that stuff. Zombies, right? Aliens, the end of the world type stuff. Love that stuff, right? And so you have to be careful with movies that it's literally just not somebody that's obsessed with doing this stuff. And a lot of people like to read into stuff and be like, that's what, the, like Songbird, right? And I talk about COVID-23. Um, and it literally could have just been somebody like, looks what happened, let's do a movie, right? movie was horrible right so their idea was horrible but if you just take what what it was about 
and it was it was the the disease was called COVID 23. We're about to go into 23. We've hit COVID already. We're over the hump as we think, but we have a little bit more rumbling happening now. And I just think 2023, there's going to be some stuff. Do I think that movie was a warning and done in a way to warn us? Absolutely not. I do not. I don't. I think it was just probably some producer who was like, let's do, let's ride the train, right? Everybody wants to make money um, off of a, a pandemic, right? It's just, it's not just big pharma. It's all types of people, right? So I don't know. I'll probably check out that lockdown 2025, see what I can glean from it. I don't know. So I hope you guys are well. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are blowing up the chat with your opinions, your thoughts, um, whatever it is. Uh, I hope you're still doing the things. Look at my face. This video is not to be gloom and doom. It's not to panic and be like pandemic and all this stuff. It's merely just to T take it for what it is, whatever side of that that you want to think about this, this article that happened, this video, this tabletop that did happen. They do these tabletops and these simulations all the time. You can literally see where they've done several others and nothing has happened. Um, but I find it, you know, there's a lot of coincidences as well, right? Which can be alarming because to me, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Okay. Um, but other than that, be well, be kind, and do everything in love. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next video. Take care. Bye.